peljem se po slovenski avtocesti proti domu. No in asistenčni sistemi v tem Mercedesu me želijo tja spraviti čim bolj varno, po drugi strani pa tudi čim hitreje. In zdaj imam pred sabo Miho, ki se mu očitno ne mudi tako zelo. Namreč ne vozi se 130 km na uro, pa čeprav bi se na tem avtocestnem oceku lahko. In kaj bo naredil ta Mercedes? Poglejte. Torej, ko sem se približal počasnejšemu vozilu pred mano, je Mercedes samodejno vklopil levi smerokaz in zamenjal pas vožnje z desnega na levega. No in zdaj je prihitev počasnejši avto 130 km na uro, zdaj pa bo samodejno pas ponovno zamenjal. Mercedes je torej počasnejši avto pred menoj samodejno prihitev, ko je skupino asistenčnih sistemov zaznal, da je ta manevr varen. Torej, odgovorni pri Mercedesu so držali svojo obljubo, zdaj ta sistem deluje tudi v Sloveniji in to je bil dokaz. Ker imam tukaj v navigacijski sistem vnešen cilj, seveda avto ve, kam jaz želim priti, zato sistem uporablja tudi podatke navigacije in v primeru, če bi jaz bil blizu izvoza, blizu razcepa ali pa kakšnega ostrega zavoja na avtocesti, tega manevra avto ne bi samodejno izvedel. No in prav te kombinacije različnih asistenčnih sistemov gradijo višje stopnje avtonomne vožnje. Gremo torej po tej avtonomni lestvici naprej. Zdaj vas vabimo z nami v Minhen, da prisedemo v posebnega Mercedesa, ki pa že omogoča nivo samodejne vožnje 2++. Welcome in our new CLA with MB Drive Assist Pro. We will drive through the city. As soon as I press the button, the system will activate. So now the system is active. Um, so the, Did it turn on the turn signal no, by itself? Yeah, it, it's doing. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't itself. need to use the turn signals? Correct. So now it should stop um, here for the uh, passengers um, that they can move on. Um, as soon they are uh, away. So it's seeing the movement um, of the um, pedestrians, um, if they are stopping or uh, going towards uh, the road, they will um, stop the vehicle. Um, if they moving on, we can also move on. Mm -hmm. So here it stopped uh, for the red light, and then as soon the traffic lights it, yes, uh, mm -hmm. back green, it will move on. Uh, I really like how it uh, immediately drives away. When the traffic light uh, yeah. goes green or the car in front of us drives away, um, yeah. it doesn't wait too long, which Correct, many yeah. systems do actually. Uh, yeah. The idea is also uh, to have a very naturally feeling system. The system tries to drive um, as a normal driver would. Probably the navigation system knows that here is the traffic light, but maybe if the traffic light would be covered with uh, a big truck here in yeah. the right side, what would it do? We try to do have a safety approach. In worst case, it will try to stop better one time more than um, driving over a red light, so it would stop here. Yeah. We have also situations that could cause some safety critical situations. Not all of the cyclists driving only uh, when they have green light. Some of them are also driving uh, when they have red and mm -hmm. the system will also wait uh, for them. Uh, due to that we are also uh, observing the cyclists um, and all of the objects around the vehicle. If there are any obstacles um, on one lane, it will do a turn signal, uh, driving around it. Now it's doing a lane change uh, to the right lane because um, the navigation route is navigating us to right uh, lanes. It will also recognize here the traffic signs and now the system will only drive uh, 30 kilometers per hour. So if it needs to establish an emergency lane, 
uh, what will it do? So if the system is active on a highway, the idea is uh, that car is moving a bit to the left, that the uh, emergency vehicle can uh, pass. But in city area, this is sometimes not possible. In situations like this, it's necessary also that the driver is always aware um, he, that he can uh, do the cooperative steering. Mm -hmm. uh, the system is trying not to work against the, the driver. Um, and the system will stay active, so um, that's fully possible. And there is also no hard um, steering moment um, on the steering wheel, so it doesn't feel unnaturally uh, to oversteer. If I just put my hand on the steering wheel and look away, maybe look at my phone, what will the system do? Does it also check your eye movement? Yeah, we have here uh, a camera as well. Um, and the uh, driver attention on the road will be also uh, monitored, so the, the eyes will be monitored. So this is uh, autonomous level plus plus, what does it mean? Yeah, it's informally called level two plus plus, but this is not uh, official. Basically, it's a level two system, meaning that the driver will be assisted, um, but he's in charge basically. Beginning from level three and level four, there are some situations where the driver is possible to read a book or play some games here or watch TV. On It will be also allowed to do that in a level 3 system, not in level 2. Did it learn this route in advance? Uh, no. So if we choose whichever route, Correct, it will yeah. work here yeah. We have an uh, AI-based um, system. So uh, we have our test fleet where we captured um, all the data. This data we used for AI learning. The system will situationally behave in any situation where it wasn't uh, any time. What does the car sense right now in this moment? Uh, just the cars here, maybe pedestrians, yeah. or even the objects here, maybe the curb, the trees, yeah. uh, the poles? So uh, this car is equipped with 10 cameras, 5 radars, and for parking we're using 12 ultrasonic sensors. The cameras and the radars will build um, one environment where the vehicle um, has all of the objects around him. We have one mid-range radar on the front. If the object is high enough that the vehicle gets contact with that object, of course it will detect it. So the camera detects uh, the curbs? Not only, it's a combination. It's not only one sensor, it's always a combination of all sensors. Here in the tunnel we don't have any GPS signals at all. Um, it will also uh, being aware only of navigation line and the sensor setup that it can drive here uh, through the tunnel. Between this drive, did you ever maybe override it with a throttle no. pedal? No, no. Not a uh, single time? Not a single time. I mean, the most fascinating thing for me is that it doesn't obstruct the yeah. traffic at yeah. all. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you just drove MB Drive Assist Pro. That is our future point-to-point -point level two urban driving assistance function. The current uh, European regulation does not allow us to do driving maneuvers like turning, right turn, left turn, lane changes in the urban environment at the moment. But uh, we already did have the automatic uh, lane change in the Mercedes cars. No, zdaj ste verjetno pomislili, če kupim novega Mercedesa, bo torej avto lahko prehiteval samodejno, ker na mesto mene. Ampak ne gre tako zlahka. V novih Mercedesih, ki vas čakajo v prodajnih salonih, tega sistema ni več, ker je trenutno prepovedan. Kako to? The European regulations have changed. The former regulation did not have any mentioning of a lane change feature on the Autobahn, and therefore, as it was not regulated, you could actually do it. It was allowed to do it. Now, with the new regulations coming up, this function is not allowed anymore until it's been regulated once again. And those regulations for a lane change maneuver on the Autobahn are currently under development. At the time when they developed the current regulations, they didn't even think of such a function. And that's also our role to basically show what is possible and how 
we can safely apply these technologies in our cars. So the system is ready, but what is the biggest obstacle? Is it uh, like a torque in the steering wheel that it applies, the force itself, or the uh, special maneuvers? It's a mixture. It's typical. It's really the maneuvers, the right turns, the left turns, the uh, lane change maneuvers. Um, all these require. Um, and a lot of input in terms of steering, speed and torque and all this, and this has to be regulated and we certainly need to comply with the European regulations that will be coming up. So where are we going now? What do you predict? Yeah, I can't tell you a clear number, but usually with the times that a regulation process takes, it'll probably take another few years until we have it in the European market. Mm -hmm. But once again, we can do it and we will do it in China starting this year with the CLA and also in the US in starting next year. V avtomobilnosti bomo razvoj avtonomne vožnje še naprej podrobno spremljali. Zato, če vas to področje zanima, vas povabim, da se naročite na naše vsebine. Zdaj pa vam predlagam še nekaj sorodnih vsebin za nadaljevanje ogleda.